Hello students, welcome to 60 out of 60 in KSET Chemistry 2025 series in just 200 days. So today is Sunday and as you know every Sunday we used to give you a mock test. So yes, in today's uh, portion we have given the chapter Hello Alkins and Hello Arin. So this was mock test 4 and I hope all of you would have downloaded the question paper and checked and solved it. Okay. So now it's time to check the solutions for these 30 questions. So yes, now let's get started with the first question. The compound, uh, okay, your compound is given and you have to check, tell its IUPAC name, okay. So if it is not visible, I'll draw it again, okay, so it is CH3, uh, then we have CH3, CH3 and then Cl, okay. So first we need to find the parent chain, longest carbon chain. Right, this one will be the longest carbon chain. 2 chloro, 2 methyl propane. Right, 2 chloro, 2 methyl propane. So, correct answer for this question will be option number B. Okay, next let us see the next one. Uh, of the following alkyl halides, one with the lowest boiling point. So, less mass, less boiling point, if you remember. So, methyl bromide has only one carbon, so it is having less mass, so it will have the least boiling point. Option number D. Next. A compound whose molecules are superimposed on their mirror images even though they contain a asymmetric carbon atom is called. So this is a meso compound, right? They have uh, they have chiral centers, but their mirror images are uh, superimposable on each other. So they are optically inactive. Okay, next the two isomers given below are. So here you can see one chiral center, right? Uh, one second, yeah. You can see one chiral center here, one chiral center here. So, chiral centers are there, and these two are also not superimposable mirror images. So, yes, they are your diastereomers, okay. More than one chiral center is present. So, option B, diastereomers. Next, optical isomerism is exhi exhibited by. So, for optical isomerism, what we need? We need a chiral carbon, means all the four groups should be different four different groups right so if you see we draw the structure of them first let us do secondary butyl chloride if you see this is the structure of secondary butyl chloride right so if you see on this carbon this side methyl group ethyl group chlorine hydrogen so four side four different groups are there so that is why this is optically active okay so option number b okay next uh, c2h5i plus agno2 so if you remember agno2 adds no2 group right so here ono is there that is wrong this is only no this is also wrong this is some different compound so the correct answer is c2h5no2 okay next which of the following reagents can be used to convert ethyl bromide into ethane thion so you need ethane uh, ethyl bromide is there okay and we want to convert it to thiol for this we need potassium sulfide okay you can use potassium sulfide okay next an alkyl halide may be converted into alkene by so that is elimination right alpha uh, sorry beta elimination we have studied in the reactions also okay next the rate of SN2 reaction is maximum when the solvent is. So for SN2 we need polar aprotic solvent. So DMSO is a polar aprotic solvent. So option number C. Okay. Next, which one of the following statements is not true? Not true about SN2 reactions. They occur through single transition state. Yes, that is the correct statement. Favored by polar protic solvent. I just told you it is polar aprotic solvent. So, option number B. This is not a correct statement here. Okay. Next, uh, SN2 reaction at an asymmetric carbon of the compound always give, it will give a single isomer, right? A product will be forming single isomer. That is your option number D. Next, if we see, okay. The reaction of RBR plus NaCN gives RCN plus NaBr. This is an example of substitution reaction, right? Br is replaced with or substituted with CN group. Next, 
which of the following is least reactive in a nucleophilic substitution reaction okay uh, tertiary group it is reacting this one if you see right this cl group is attached to one sp2 carbon right so this bond is strong so it is very difficult for the nucleophile to eliminate this chlorine group so that is why this one will be least reactive okay one second yeah now tertiary alkyl halides are practically inert to substitution by sn2 mechanism because of steric hindrance right because of the bulky groups present the reaction the nucleophile cannot attack easily next which of the following is correct order of decreasing SN2 reactivity? So, we know for SN2, it is 1 degree, sorry, 3 degree, okay, 1 degree reacts the faster or decreasing order means it should be like this, right. So, you can see this is 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree, option number C. Next, secondary butyl chloride obtained by free radical chlorination of N butane is always. So, secondary butyl chloride which you get that is this one. This is a chiral center. So, it can be like uh, dextrorotatory or levorotatory. So, it can give you a racemic mixture, okay, option number C. Next, okay. Arrange the following uh, in the order of decreasing tendency towards SN2 reaction. Okay. So, now if you see first one, uh, first one is let us write down the compounds here. CH3, CH2, CH2, Cl. So, this is a primary one. Right, definitely this one will react faster. So, only one option is there where one is given highest, right. So, we can easily say that option A is the correct answer. Next, elimination of HBr from two bromobutane results in the formation of. So, here Sedzef rule is followed, right. So, it will give you purely but 2 ene, right. Okay. Next, a set of compounds in which the reactivity of halogen atom in the ascending order is okay ascending order okay, fine so now if you see here chlorobenzene reactivity will be very less than vinyl chloride than chloroethane right because here it is attached to a double bond uh, that is benzene ring reactivity will be low here option number a next so, we have this compound. So, first of all, what will happen in this benzene ring? This electrophile is first generated, okay. CH2 Cl plus. Now, this one will attack on this one, and first we will get this compound, okay. Then, another time again, this is there in excess, so it will react again to give you one more compound that is this one right because here after this again one electrophile will be generated like this okay this is the electrophile generated and this one will react with this one to give you option number d okay next replacement of chlorine of chlorobenzene to give phenol requires drastic conditions but chlorine 24 dinitrobenzene is readily replaced so we know no2 withdraws the electron because it is a electron withdrawing group and it withdraws the electron from ortho and para position okay so option number d okay next the structure of the major product formed in the following reaction is so chlorine cn group will be replaced but iodine is attached directly to the ring it cannot be replaced the alkyl part can be replaced so we will get here so this one is not correct answer uh, yeah this one option number d okay next halide which will not react with benzene in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3. So, if you remember again this is haloarenes, haloarenes are not reactive because it is this chlorine cannot be replaced ok. So, option number C again. How many trichloroethanes would be produced when 1 1 dichloroethane? 1 1 dichloroethane reacts with chlorine. 
so here we have one edge and here we have three edge so either this edge can be replaced will give one product and this edge replaced will give you one product so total we will get two types of products right let us see the next question that is question number 25 here okay x on treatment with naoh at room temperature followed by acidification with dilute hno3 and addition of agno3 gives a white precipitate in soluble in ammonium hydroxide the compound x is okay so now if you try this one benzyl chloride okay so when you treat benzyl chloride okay with naoh we get okay next uh now if you add agno3 to this one okay here we get a precipitate agcl right this is your yellow precipitate okay so compound x is nothing but your benzyl chloride okay next question okay you have been given uh, here a then kcn and then you so kcn is there means already cn will be produced ch3 cn so we can eliminate this option and it has to be one al here one halo alkane right so ch3x so correct answer is option number a okay next if you see uh, z first hbr is added so we will have ch3 ch2 br then aqueous naoh ch3 ch2 oh then what will happen when you treat with na2 ca3 and excess i2 what we get that is your iodoform reaction we get ch i3 here okay correct answer is option number c here this is your iodoform reaction okay next grignard reagent is not prepared in aqueous medium but prepared in ether medium because the reagent reacts with water okay option number d next bottles containing c6h5i and c6h5ch2i lost their original levels they were leveled a and b for testing a and b were separately kept taken in test tubes and boiled with naoh solution the end solution in each tube was made acidic with dilute hno3 and some agno3 solution was added solution b gave you a yellow precipitate so b gave you yellow precipitate now which one of the following experiments is true for the experiment so now you see if b is giving you yellow precipitate just now we discussed a question like this so this must be c6 h5 ch2i okay because here we can get yellow precipitate right so correct answer will be what then a will or definitely be what c6 h5i right so a was c6 h5i okay next last question 13 dichloropropane reacts with zn and ni and gives so we had like this 13 dichloropropane right if you react it with zn and nai so we will get a cyclopropane ring okay so correct answer here will be option number c okay fine so yes students these were the 30 questions and the solutions i want all of you to uh, solve all these questions and do not forget to comment down your scores okay thank you and see you soon in the next class